Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, just going to do a quick little short uh, vlog, hopefully this one, um, just about the battery monitors on the van, because I did a, a, a review, sorry, on a battery monitor not long ago, um, and someone pointed out how they, one that I did, which I'll show you at the end of this vlog, um, can go into negative reading on the amp hours when it's at 100%. So when the, your charger's got the battery up to 100%, um, when the gauge thinks it's at 100%, um, and it shows 100% or full capacity, but the battery is still taking on current. It starts reading negatively on the amp hours, which means it'd have to use up that negative part of the amp hours first before it starts dropping the percentage on the gauge, which means the gauge becomes useless really because it, um, it'll always show 100% if you've got too much on the negative. So if you've got, say, 20 amp hours negative because it's gone the negative side of the full capacity, you've got to use up that 20 amp hours on the negative side, which won't show on the gauge before it starts dropping that 100% on the gauge. Hopefully I'll explain that. Um, I'll put a link to someone else's vlog who's showed it a bit better, or I'll try and show it on the gauge that I reviewed, if it's still doing it on this one. Bear in mind that my gauge I've been given to review was a newer gauge, so they might change the algorithms because of, of that problem. Right, so I'm back in my den now, um, and I'm gonna retest this junk tech gauge, if I've got it pronounced right. Um, and give it a go, see if it does the negative counting that someone showed me online, because it's the newer version. I've had my AGM now on charge for a few hours on the Victron um, sm Blue Smart Charger, and it's gone into float charging. It's pulling about 0.3 of an amp still, but it's only just started doing that probably when I switched the app on. Sometimes it does that, I've noticed. Um, and I'm gonna take that as reference that the battery now is at 100% charge capacity, so I'll set this gauge up and set it to 100% and then discharge it and recharge and see if it has any negative effects. Now just to point out that this is my new box that I've made up for it. The shunt is inside the box with the control module. Um, I've just got a negative lead coming out and a positive to be able to charge this thing up. So I just wanted to let you know that that's the setup now. Right, so I've got everything connected up again. Um, this time I'm gonna show you the setup on this. Hopefully this comes out focus this time. Go through the settings. Go to clear, count OK, click OK, and then move over to OK and click OK, and then clear data, OK again. Make sure this is set, remaining at 100%. Hit OK. So we're showing now 100% amp hours remaining, 100% percentage. We've got zero on the amp hours being used. Um, time lapse and that we're not worried about. Wattage and kilowatts all zero. There's nothing coming out, and we're at 13.6 volts. The current setup is that the battery is switched off. I've got this switched off, and it's all connected to my light box. Like if you've seen my previous vlog, although it's a little bit more messier because it's been done quickly. So what I'm going to do now, turn it on. Right, so I've just switched it on. Um, you'll see some lights in the fans there. Um, can't lift the box up too much. You can see the lights are running there anyway. Um, because the Victron controller is on there. And so I'm putting in 6.5 amps out of the AGM battery. What I do now is I leave this running for 20 minutes or so, drop that percentage down, drop the amp hours remaining down, and then we put the Victron on, charge it all up and see if it goes 100%. And I'll see how many other times I can do this this afternoon, see if there's any discrepancies. Right, so it's been charging there for quite a while. And you can see here it's gone down. I'll just get some stuff. Right, so the battery's been charging for a while now. You can see here the current's gone down to zero amps. And the amp hours remaining is 98.785 amp hours. And it's not gone above that to 100, 200, 100 amp hours. And it's not gone negative to charge further either. 98% um, charge. It's not going to get to 100% charge. Now, this might not be nothing to do with. The gauge, well, definitely not doing the gauge. This is more down to lift, um, lead acid AGM batteries. Sometimes they, they just can't get to that 100%. Um, one of the reasons I brought up before um, Victron charge is still running on float, so it should be putting in current. I'll go into the app and show you that, and, and then I'll do a reboot on this Victron charger to see whether that will kick start the charging. But a lot of that is down to the AGM, but for the accuracy. It looks like it's okay. I've not got it to go anywhere to negative side, but then it'd have to take a lot of discharge recharging 
to test it and it's really hard to do with an AGM because they take forever to charge. Um, right, so as you can see on the app, um, there is actually 0.2 of an amp going in on the float. So over probably a 24 hour period, it'll get to 100%. And this is one of the annoying things. As you can see, when I turn the app on, I said this earlier at the beginning, it's now putting in 0.5 of an amp charge into the battery. So this is something to do with as well. Um, so there's a lot of variables here that are causing problems. I'll just go into here. Um, if I change this to high for a little while and see if it changes. So now I've got 2.2 amps going into it. So I can do that for a little while without too much worry about damaging the battery. Um, just to see if I can get that up to 100% and see if it would go over the 100 amp hour charge. But I mean, I shouldn't think it will. And this is this is me putting in a lot higher voltage than the battery would normally actually take. Okay, right. So after quite a bit of time, um, getting the Victron charger up to a higher voltage to get my 100% in here, I've finally got this to 100%. It's gone to zero amps, as you can see there, and the amp hours remaining it's at 800 amp hours. Um, it hasn't gone into negative, and it did charge a little bit longer on the amp hours while this is at 100% like it would do in flow and it still didn't go negative on here so I don't see an issue with this gauge at the moment what I do now is I, I pull some more power out of it to drop it down again and then I put it on float overnight because on float what would happen is now and again the Victron charger might put a 2 amp, 0.2 of an amp or 0.1 of an amp in here to keep this topped up overnight although nothing's come out um, and it shouldn't calculate on this here or here to say that we've got more capacity than is actually there because it's a float charge and the gauge should really pick up on that. Um, that's probably what some of the people were saying online about the older versions and it looks like this newer version hasn't got that problem. So I'll do that and we'll put on float overnight and see how it looks like in the morning. Right, so I've just dropped the capacity of the battery down again a little bit. You can see there it's 92.5 amp hours left and we're at 92%. So I've just, like I say, discharge it, 12.97 um, volt, volts because we've got no charge on it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the Victron charger on, which I do now. Right, we'll just wait for that to go through its self-test. And it's gone into bulk, which is normal for any startup. That'll probably go into absorption within a, a, um, maybe 20 minutes or so. Um, so it's giving out the full 9.8 amps charge into the battery because it's a 10 amp hour charger. Um, that'll drop down to about probably about three, maybe four amps when it goes into absorption. And what I do is I leave this running there tonight, all night, um, I leave it on float and see if this goes into a negative um, reading at all, or if it just goes up to 100% as it should do. So we'll have a look at this again in the morning. Right, so it's now the morning and the battery's been on charge all night after discharging it last night. As you can see, the Victron controller's now gone into storage mode so it's done all the charging through float and in storage and you can see on the gauge here zero current going into the battery it's got 100 amp hours remaining and we're at 100% charge no negative problems which have been shown on the previous gauges so so far this gauge has been very accurate so not had any problems with it I'll do another discharge today this morning and recharge to see whether this starts to drift but to be honest, I don't see how it will, but we'll see what happens. Right, so the battery's just been discharging there, down to 94%. There you go, 94 amp hours. Um, so I put this back on charge, take the load off, and see if it charges up to 100%, all okay, no problems. Right, so the Victron charger's back on. Charge, giving 9.6 amps into the uh, battery at the moment. And according to the gauge, it's gonna take about 30 minutes this charge up so we see how accurate that is let's come back in a little while uh, again the Victron has gone into storage um, battery is now at a hundred percent again um, it's a hundred amp hours remaining so it hasn't gone into a negative and zero amps going into the battery so far I don't see any issues with the gauge on the accuracy what I do now is I'm going to switch the um, charger off leave this for a couple of days over the weekend um, with no power going into the battery or out it's just basically leaving the battery 
in storage and in that way with AGM batteries it will lose some of its charge over the weekend and then I'll put it back on charge with this and see if it starts charging up because the battery won't be at 100% and yet this shows 100 what would happen, what should happen is that this should draw some current into the battery but it shouldn't increase the amp hours on here it should already know that it hasn't taken anything out of the battery so there should be no negative sign or positive signs on here so we'll leave it over the weekend and we'll see what it looks like on Sunday night right so the battery's been sitting here now for a weekend with nothing plugged into it no char uh, nothing being drawn from the battery or charged I've just switched the Victron charger on which has gone straight into absorption charging you can see the battery's pulling the 1.8 amps down into the battery even though it's 100% and that's purely because the battery lost some of its charge just by sitting here on, on work, my workbench um, but you can see it's not doing any negative or positive readings on the 100 amp hour reading so to me it seems to be working right, this is what it should do it should take a current into charge the battery but it shouldn't increase the percentage or anything because as far as this meter was concerned nothing come out of the battery so it should stay at 100% and it's, they're all going to do this meters because none of them are going to be able to see a battery discharging when it's doing it on its own without going through the meter so I'll leave this charging up now um, to get up to 100% again which we know because that will drop down to 0 amps and then I'll know that this battery is at 100% charge again and it's no different to the lithiums um, my lithium battery in the van is showing 100% on the gauge but it's still pulling 30 amps into the lithium and I spoke to the guy who sold the battery and, and he said it's normal for the lithiums to charge up like that um, and it won't be until it gets to 14.8 volts that the lithium will be fully charged um, so anyway we leave this a little while and we'll come back to it later alright guys so I've had this now on charge for at least two hours um, you can see that it's still putting 0.4 of an amp but the battery is still 100% and the amp hours haven't increased or gone into any negatives or anything which is perfect really right so you can see that the amp hours have stayed the same and the percentages have stayed the same which is just what I would expect um, I'm going to be switching it off now because I've done enough testing on this and this battery is going off to someone else now um, but I don't see an issue with this um, gauge at the moment unless someone else wants to comment below Right, so that's it for this vlog. So I hope you uh, that's beneficial to some people. Um, it shows the gauge is, I would say the gauge is pretty accurate. Um, I've seen the video of someone else showing this gauge where it goes into negative, but that was an older gauge with older software, and I expect that's been updated now with the new firmware, because the whole gauge, the display in the gauge is totally different to the, the ones on YouTube showing the negative amp hours. And the van one, um, that I've got the TR16 which is working pretty well. I'm happy with that um, So anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you like it. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe um, And I'll update when I've got some new stuff to do with the van